Do you really honestly think that that many young guys are hypogonadal and in need of testosterone replacement therapy? I mean, be, be honest. Let's cook book. be serious here, honestly. And so let's cook book be serious. Coach Greg and Jeff Cavalier just posted a banger video and I'm not being sarcastic. It says, should I start taking TRT? Serious question. And we were talking about TRT, which is testosterone, aka steroids. And yes, it's doctor prescribed, but it is in fact a very serious question. I watched this video on the way back to the gym and recording it right now. It's so important that you watch this. Want you to watch my video? Head over to Jeff's video. You need to watch it. That means everyone, you need to watch this video. There is such a disturbing trend right now where those search terms and even those interests have been replaced by TRT or interest in TRT. Does that surprise any of you that people are now searching for the magic pill, the drug that can replace hard work and a healthy diet? Of course not. You all know this but it's trending upwards at an ever alarming rate. And the reason for this, well, I blame TikTok. And no shocker that TikToks cancel me. You can't have quality information go out on TikTok. Just spews for views. Hey, take this, take that. You don't need to work out. Go on TRT, SARMs, peptides. Or let's figuratively push Ozempic down our throats. Or more accurately, let's start injecting Ozempic. Why? Because it's been shown proven to make you lose a bunch of weight. Yeah, and did you know that almost half of that is going to be muscle? Have you read the negative side effects? And so it wasn't bad enough that kids, teenagers, guys in their 20s are pushing these things on TikTok and short form content. We also have more mature older adults like Mike O'Hearn or Ryan Humiston pushing peptides, aka drugs, peptides or drugs. And saying, hey, you guys know about this? It's amazing. Yes, you can also lose fat and you can also build muscle. But for me, you kids that are learning about this stuff, something I didn't have as a kid, peptides. But what they're not doing is telling you the dangers of which Jeff Cavalier is. And so I applaud his efforts. This was an amazing video. And so oftentimes I'm making videos against what Jeff Cavalier is saying. But in this case, he's spot on. And so I call it the BS. I don't just pick on people. If they say something good, I'm going to agree and I'm going to tell you to go and watch and listen to that information. And in this case, he nailed it. And the interest in even putting out the effort initially to see how well you do in terms of building your body is gone by the wayside in favor of opting for one of these solutions rather than actually putting in the hard work. And so people are going for the quick fix. They don't want to put in the work. They don't want to spend years in the gym. They want the results yesterday. They want to become YouTube famous, make an incredible transformation. I went from this to that. Look at me, give me my 1 million followers. Problem is when you're young, you don't care. You don't think about the future. You're not worried about the dangers, possible side effects. I don't care. How much muscle can I put on? How shredded can I get in six weeks or less? Do you really honestly think that that many young guys are hypogonadal and in need of testosterone replacement therapy? I mean, be, be honest. Let's Cook be serious here, honestly. Do you really think that suddenly, all of a sudden, the whole world suddenly needs TRT? Of course not. Is it true that some people do? Yes, of course it does. But guys walking around with normal testosterone levels, trying to starve themselves to single digit body fat, staying up, partying all the time, not eating a healthy diet from all four food groups, not getting in enough sleep and overworking themselves. And suddenly they think, oh, I need TRT. And so what they're actually trying to do is get a legal prescription for steroids. They're trying to take steroids, a cycle, yeah, a small one, but they're trying to do that without people hating on them. They want to do steroids, they want to get the gains, but they don't want anyone to judge them. And so think of it, is it really that surprising that so many people are, are flocking to get TRT? Have you seen the pressure on social media to have the perfect physique? People cannot do it. 99% of people simply don't have the genetics. They could train as hard as they can, eat perfect diet, but yet never have that perfect physique that they want to show to the world. And so the result, TRT. And doctors are now prescribing it even when they shouldn't. And not so much in Canada, mostly in the United States. Canada, very difficult to get HRT. But in the United States, you have phone clinics, call here, call there. Here's a description. You don't really need it, but hey, we're maximizing your health. Yay! But are they really? What about the negative side effects? Do you really need this? Do you understand this is for the rest of your life? In a large percentage of young guys who say that, it's a soft launch for I'm on steroids. I mean, think of it. Are you really gonna go and admit to everyone, your friends, family, your parents, hey, I'm on steroids now. 
Or is it not much easier to say, I'm on TRT, it's a prescription, I need it, it's a medical necessity for me. You know, because I train so hard, I eat healthy, so I need it now. I went on a diet, I got abs now, so I need TRT. Really? Do you really? And then they had the gall to make the video about needing TRT, because they were hypogonadal. I don't, I'm not buying it. And it's happening all the time. People showing their blood work. Hey, guess what? I went on a diet and my testosterone levels are in the tank. And so we also have fake natties pretending to be natural by showing crash blood work. Hey, I got my crash blood work because I was on a diet. I have the testosterone levels of Grandma Josephine, yet look at my physique. I'm setting PRs in the gym. I'm single digit body fat and my test levels are low just because I'm on a diet. Really? Or could it be that you were on cycle, went off, and now you have crushed testosterone levels? Or they use this as an excuse. Well, look, I now need TRT. I entered a bodybuilding contest. My testosterone levels were low for about a month, and so now I need testosterone for the rest of my life. Don't judge me. I need it. No, what you need to do is stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop thinking that you are not good enough. You are. It's not about being perfect. It's about being better than you are. The best version of yourself. Not the best version you can become with drugs. The best version of yourself that you can become natural. And so unfortunately, people just don't want to put in the work. No one wants to train for anything anymore. And I'm telling you this, and I promise you, if you work hard, harder than last time to develop your best possible physique, you'll be much better off than you if you resort to taking performance enhancing drugs and take that shortcut. If you do, you're not going to be happy. You're going to take those drugs and love the gains that you're making. And then when you stop, you're going to lose the majority of the progress that you made while taking them. Not only that, you're going to have lower libido, less energy, not feel good, and hate going to the gym. Do you know how miserable it is to go to the gym every single workout and get worse? Despite the fact you're eating healthy, training hard, you're trying to progressive overload, every workout when you go off PDs, it gets worse. And so if you start taking them when you're young, you're going to have to take them for the rest of your life, or at some point, whether it's because of your health or you're just getting old, you're going to have to stop. And when you do, trust me, you are going to hate it. Years worth of workouts, or God forbid, five years worth of training and good nutrition. They can't think about it. They can't fathom the consistency that's needed there. And if it's you, I feel bad. And so take your time. Take your time improving. Any improvement, whether it's one pound of fat loss, one pound of muscle gain, that is something to celebrate. Continue to make slow and steady gains for months and or years. And so rather than look in the mirror and say, I need to bulk and cut. I need PDs. I need to put on 20 pounds fast. Think, can I do better tomorrow than I did today? Can I do better today than yesterday? And no, you're not going to make improvements every single day but slowly over time you are. Don't bulk and cut, main gain at a healthy body fat percentage for you. Perhaps 15% body fat for most men, not single digit body fat, something healthy. I don't care what method you use, but there are so many options. And so Jeff is saying, whatever method you want to use to make improvements, go for it. But it's consistency over time that's going to work. And so you can listen to Jeff, you can listen to me, you can follow whatever diet you want. But understand this, it's going to take time. And I know you want it now, and I know you're looking up to your favorite YouTuber, whoever that may be, and thinking, I want their physique today. But the faster you get to that physique, the faster you're going to lose it. And trust me, when you get older, you're going to look back and think, why did I do that? Was it really worth it? Perhaps in five years, you won't even like going to the gym. Perhaps you'll discover something else. Perhaps you'll be racing bikes against Coach Greg. Maybe you'll be playing tennis. Who knows? But if you fall in love with bodybuilding, working out, lifting weights, it doesn't mean that you have to take HRT. You don't need to put on all this muscle. You're comparing yourself to the top 1% of the best 1% that's being shown to you on social media. And so just because you see some famous YouTuber saying, try Ozempic, take this, take that, it's amazing. Oh, it worked for me, so much weight loss. Wow, contact this website, message them, code this, code that. How do I get abs like that? Jeff, what do I actually supposed to, what am I supposed to eat in a day? How much protein do you eat? Those have all been replaced by should I start taking TRT? And so consider that Jeff, he used to get asked for, how do you do this exercise? What kind of training should I do? What kind of diet should I be following? How many calories should I be eating? It's being replaced with drug questions, TRT, SARMs, peptides, Ozempic. People don't want to know how to work out. They don't want to know how to eat. They just want to know what to take. And so if you're a teenager, you don't need to take anything. You shouldn't even be taking anything. You can wait. Wait until you plateau, until you're older. And if you are going to take something, as of course, many people want to improve their workouts, and I'm not against you taking supplements, try natural supplements first. 
If you are ever going to use PEDs, at least wait until you're older. And of course, never break the law and only do so with advice and consent from your own doctor. And so for me, the number one supplement out of all the things I'm selling, it's GO2 Max. The main ingredient, NMN, has been shown in human studies, not placebo effect, not in mice, to make a significant improvement in your cardiovascular performance. NMN is not banned by WADA. It's not on the drug list. You can use this in the Olympics, in MMA, in any any sporting competition you want. And whether you're a couch potato or an elite level athlete, it's been shown to improve your ability to perform cardio. You have more energy, greater recovery, you can burn more calories. And so if you're trying to live a long and healthy life, this is my number one supplement that I would recommend. And this is above creatine, beta alanine, pre-workouts, all of that stuff. And if you are interested, click the link in the description, code Greg, 10% off. Focus on what needs to be focused on again. I think you'll be a lot happier with it because you'll be a lot prouder of the fact that you've put effort back in and removed a lot of the early excuses that you've been trying to make. And listen, there are in fact people that need HRT. Go and see your doctor. But just because your test levels are down 200 points compared to what they're best doesn't mean that you actually need it. I was watching a Brett Maverick video. His test levels were at 991 and they dropped down to just under 800. Oh my God, it's so horrible. My test levels are lower than his on HRT. You don't need HRT. If you feel great, you don't need it. The number's just a number. And if you don't feel great, have you checked your diet? Are you eating from all four food groups? Are you getting enough sleep? Have you lowered your stress levels? Are you partying harder than last time? Drinking too much on the weekends? Have you tried to improve your testosterone levels the natural way? For example, with G-Test or 3-Test. It contains ingredients with Andrew Huberman stated on the Joe Rogan podcast can increase testosterone by two to 400 nanograms per deciliter. Right, most people are gonna see about a three to 400 point increase. Have you considered the fact that you might be over dieting? That perhaps you're too lean? Maybe you're at 12% body fat and you want to get leaner, but it's just not in your cards. It's not in your DNA. Your genetics are not made for it. Not everyone can maintain normal hormonal level when their body fat levels are too low. And so please, if you're interested, head over to website, code Greg 10% off. We have so many different natural supplements that you can in fact use. They're not banned by WADA. But remember, if you don't have any money, still head over to the website. I have a free diet and training program. It's over 50 pages. And so no matter who you are, male or female, big or small, there's a plan in there for you. Head over to the website. You don't need any money. You don't need to hire a coach. You can literally go on the website and get it for free. First and last name, email address. You're going to get it absolutely free. And so, yeah, of course, I'd love for you to buy all my supplements. Make me richer than last time. But if you don't have money, head over to the website and go and get my free program. And don't forget, I wrote a book. It's a circle diet book, my life's work, how to lose weight and keep it off. Has tons of information to get you started on your weight loss journey right now, as in you can start as soon as you read the book, you start right now, start losing weight without a coach. This is your coach. And of course, we have the training books, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Head over to the website and you know it, the freaking cook book, low calorie, delicious, amazing recipes, high in protein, lots of fiber, gonna help you be full. No longer do you have to feel like you're on a diet to help you lose weight. And to top it all off, I also have a clothing line. I've done it all, literally. What else could I do? Head over to my website. Hoodies, shirts, jogging pad shorts, it's all available. Head over to the website right now. You know you want it. Please head over whether you have money, no money, there's something there for you. Click the link in the description, code Greg, 10% off. Also, go watch the Jeff's video and please, before you hop on everything, really weigh out the pros and cons. Also, don't forget to follow me on the gram. It's Greg Doucette IP Pro. And until next time, I am out.